Hello, we are on a rock hunt today in Oregon. We are on a nice gravel bar here. It is a beautiful day. And I have the dog pack with me. Lacey and Archie. And over there's their son, Sparky. Sparky! And we are on the bar here, hunting today. Looking for treasures. The dogs sure don't make it easy to hunt for things. Messing up the water. Let's see what we can find. The geology and petrology of that area must be amazing, as the subduction and volcanic violence captured in the structures of some of these rocks is obvious, and as we see more and more rocks, the puzzle seems to be coming together as we fill in more of the gaps. I always appreciate Adam's attention to these more ordinary rocks that many people overlook. I have my bin here so we can see straight to the bottom. Get in a better angle so you guys can see. Found something here that looks pretty cool. Looks like a piece of chert. Agatized chert, possibly. Very pretty color. Keep that and clean it up. See what else we can find while we're out here. If you're watching this video, don't fall in love. Oregon is ugly and overpopulated. So don't come. This rock really has a lot going on and I am not satisfied to just call it another Jasper. I like to say that every rock is a random snapshot of an instant in the deep past. A little bit of rose color in there, nothing special. Let's keep going. There is a lot of uh, Native American relics that I find in here. A lot of the rocks are shaped and worked. It's hard to tell because the river's worn them down for a long time. But if you study them long enough, you'll see where their handholds were. You can tell that they used them. They didn't have metal, so every rock was a tool. Hi, Lacey. What are you doing, pretty girl? Be sure to watch the full video. I think it will really be worth your time.